reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus said, I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just, because I seek to do not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. If I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that his testimony to me is true. You sent messengers to John, and he testified to the truth. Not that I accept such human testimony, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But I have a testimony that is greater than John's. The works that the Father has given me to complete, the very works that I am doing, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself testified on my behalf. You have never heard his voice or seen his form, and you do not have his word abiding in you because you do not believe him whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life, and it is they that testify on my behalf. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. I do not accept glory from human beings, but I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I've come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me. If another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the one who alone is God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses, on whom you have set your hope. If you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But if you do not believe what he wrote... How will you believe what I say? Jesus, in the Gospel of John, engaging once again with those religious teachers and scribes and authorities who are trying to figure out who Jesus is. And Jesus is trying to tell them who he is. And here Jesus is referring and saying, don't listen to what I say about myself. Um, that's never going to be a true picture. Listen to what others say about me. Look at what John, in John's gospel, not known as John the Baptist, but John the witness, John, John the one who points, that testifies to the light. Listen to what John said. You were happy enough to bask in his light for a while, he says, and then suddenly um, you stopped listening. Same thing with the scriptures. He says, he acknowledges, you all look to the scripture for for truth and for salvation. And yet, even though scripture has spoken of me, you will not hear it. You will not listen to it because it does not conform. I do not conform to what you were expecting. And finally, Jesus takes on this core issue of the human tendency to listen to people who credential themselves, who point to themselves and say, I am the one, instead of listening for God in the one whom God has given us and to whom God has testified and to whom the scriptures have testified. And I think that's where you and I enter the story in this Lent. To whom are we listening? To whom are we looking for salvation? To whom are we giving authority? Um, is it the people who are credentialing themselves? Is it the people around us in our day-to-day -day lives who say, listen to me, I have the answers, or are we looking to something deeper and truer in the, its foundation? Jesus, of course, points to, and part of our trick is that for us, Jesus exists in scripture now, and so it's slightly different for us than for the original hearers of Jesus, but still, this principle holds true that we need to check ourselves as we are going about our lives and doing our own um, assessment of how it is that we're measuring up to what God is calling us to do. To whom are we listening? Are we listening to the scripture? Are we really hearing what God is saying to us through it? Are we listening to the words of Jesus in particular, who's body of teaching and healing and ministry and life and death and resurrection and appearances through the ages since that time where he walked the earth. Are we listening to what Jesus says? Are we searching his words? Are we 
making ourselves liable to the judgment that he has brought about what he says God wants and needs of us in this world? Or are we content to listen to other human voices who, who credential one another or assure us that they have the answers? So in this week of Lent, I invite us to dig deeply into those deep wells that Jesus left to us, deep wells of wisdom, of testimony, of, of the deeds that he did that testify to his Father, and to search those and let them wash over us and teach us the lessons that Jesus says they should teach us. So may God be with you in your discernment, in your choosing to whom you listen this week. May God bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen.